Hello guys, we are back and you are now stuck for about 10 minutes with me and my colleague Natalia. Hello once again. And today we are back on the topic of amateurs trying to handle big uh, passenger jets. And she will try to land the aircraft by herself. But this time we will try to do it the correct way on how I imagine I would tell another person who is not a pilot on how to land a jet. So we would do on Autoland. I will act as an air traffic controller. I, we imagine that I am not in the cabin and I do not see any of the action. So are you ready, Natalia? I'm ready. Wish me good luck. Good luck, Natalia. <laughs> so, do you hear me? Yes. Okay, first thing I would like you to do is find the mode control panel. This is a panel with a lot of numbers and small buttons just below the windscreen in the middle of the cockpit. Yeah, I see the panel. What do you see on that panel? I see a lot of numbers and letters. <laughs> okay, for example, do you see heading or altitude? Now I see it. Okay, you see it. Yeah. So, could you please uh, turn the knob, which is below the altitude, to 2,700 feet? I think I did it. Okay. Uh, now, do you see a button below altitude, uh, which says altitude hold? Yes. Can you press the button right next to it, which says V and S? It's done. Thank you. Now, could you set the vertical speed, which is a little bit more to the right from that button, to minus 1000? I see the altitude knob. Yes. Where do I have to go? Uh, go, go to the right from altitude to vertical speed. Yes. Set it to minus 1000. I did it. Okay, thank you very much. Now to the left of altitude, you should see heading. Can you yeah. find that? Yes, I see it. Okay, can you turn it counterclockwise to 260, 260? It's done. Thank you very much. Now, I would like to ask you to reduce your speed. So, to the left of heading, there is EAS and MAC. Do you see that window? Yeah. Okay, below that there is a knob, and I would like you to set a speed of 180. It's done. Okay, thank you very much. Now it will get a little bit more difficult. Below the mode control panel with all the autopilot information, uh, right where your right hand would be, there are two moving devices for controlling the aircraft thrust. And there are two spinning uh, cylinders. Do you see that? Yeah, I see parking brake. Speed brake. Okay, this is the correct panel then. Now, to the right of the two thrust levers, there is a flap handle. Do you see it? There is flap written on it. Yeah, I see it. Okay. Now, do you see that it has certain positions? Yeah, now it's on zero. Okay, thank you. Could you please set it to one? I did it. Thank you. Now, as we are slowing down, we are preparing for approach. I would like you to set the correct frequency of the runway at London Gatwick. Now, below all of these thrust levers and the flap handles, there is a radio panel. Do you find it? There should be VHF COM and, uh, I don't know, Cabin Secure written there. Yeah, I see it. Okay, then. Uh, the second sub panel on the left is the one you need it should have a button with the light auto 
Yeah, I see it. Okay. Can you set 110.9 on the right uh, knob? 110? Yes, 110.9. It's done. Uh, okay, could you do this for the same panel on the right side? How I, how uh, I do that? <laughs> there is an exact same copy of the panel on the, on the first officer's side. Ah, okay. It's done. Okay, could you press the buttons saying auto on this on the two panels it's done and now i would like you to reduce the speed a little bit more so remember where the speed is yes could you set 160 knots 160 it's right to the altitude yes Oh, uh, no, it's left to the heading. Left to the heading, yes. 160. Yes. I did it. Okay. Prana, something's wrong. <laughs> uh, do you remember where the flap handle is? Yes. Okay, I heard that you have a gear horn. Uh, just below the flap handle there is a small black button do you see it it says horn cut out yeah yes so if you hear this horn again please press this button and it will disappear yeah i will do it okay? next time thank you so now what i would like you to do is select the flaps if you still remember where they are to five it's done Okay, now in front of you in the center panel, there is a big uh, lever which, is, which should currently be in the position off. Do you see it? Big lever? No, not it's, yet. It's below the autopilot panel and above all the flaps. It is to control the landing gear. Is, is it a big handle? Oh yes, it is. Yeah. So you probably found it. Yeah. Okay, now to the left of it and a little bit lower, there is an auto brakes knob. Yes. Could you please set it to two? It's done. Okay, Natalia. Now I would like you to find the flight management computer. It is um, to the left of those landing gear levers and auto brakes and a little bit lower it has a huge green screen yes i see it okay can you find the button init ref initial reference and press it init ref -E -R -E -F. yes yes okay I... uh, do you see there is a line with which says flaps 15, 30, 40. Yes, I see it. Okay, what is the number right of 40? 120. 120, okay. So 120 knots, approximately 200 kilometers per hour, will be your approach speed. I will tell you this again, but it would be good if you could memorize it, okay? I'll try. <laughs> Don't be so nervous, it's gonna be alright. I hope so. Okay, next thing I would like you to do is select, if you still remember where they are, flaps to 15. And select the big lever of landing gear to down. Pull it and down. Okay, Natalia, if you still remember what it is, select the heading in the autopilot panel to 110 counterclockwise. 110. Yes.
It's done. Thank you. And a little bit to the right and lower of the heading section, there is a button APP approach. Could you please press it? Done. Thank you very much. Now the aircraft will guide itself towards the runway. All we need to do is select a few settings, a few buttons, reduce our speed and put the flaps down to 40 degrees. But we will do it incrementally. Okay, Natalia, I see on my radar that you are currently on final of runway 08 right, which means that you don't need to turn anywhere anymore. What I would like you to do now is reduce the speed. If you remember where it is on the autopilot panel, change the IAS to, let's say, 125. 125. It's set. Thank you. And if you can, please set the flaps to 30. It's done. Okay. And you can now set the flaps to 40. Okay. Then. To the other side of the thrust levers from the flap lever, there is a speed brake lever. Do you see it? Yes, I see it. Okay. Could you please pull it a little bit up and just a little bit back till you see a green light in front of you? Okay. Yes, I see the green light. Okay. Thank you very much. Now the aircraft is basically pre prepared for the landing. All we have to do is wait. It looks easy for now. I'm sure it does. Okay, Natalia, if you can find the thrust levers, which are the two moving levers between the speed brake and the flaps. It says disengage, yes? Yes, these ones. Can you put your hand on them? Yeah. Okay, can you... Feel with your left thumb, there is a button on the left side of the thrust levers. Yes. Okay, when the aircraft lands, I would like you to press this button twice. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, and in front of the thrust levers, uh, there are two handles which could be pushed up. Can you see them? Yes. Okay, so after you press that black button twice, I would like you to lift these handles, okay? Okay. Okay, now just sit back, concentrate, and the landing is all what's left. Okay, Natalia, on the autopilot panel, to the right of vertical speed, there are two buttons. One is up and the other one is down. Do you see them? Yeah, I see them. Okay, can you select the right button, which is down, to up? It's done, Pranas. Thank you. And then I will ask, not now, but a little bit later, now just think about it, to set the speed to 120 knots. Do you still remember where is the speed? Yes, of course. Okay, so... When I tell you, set it to 120 knots and then put your hand on the thrust levers and prepare for the touchdown. I'm ready. Good to hear. Okay, Natalia, set the speed to 120 knots. It's done. Thank you and put your hand on the thrust levers and I wish you good luck. Thank you.
Oh, Tali, are you still with me? Yes, we are safe. I can see that. I'm really proud of you. You can now put the handles on the thrust levers down. You can deselect the reversers. Yeah, it's done. And you're done. Congratulations on a good landing. Oh, We're thank safe. Thank you very much. Okay, so if it was reality, it would have probably happened this way. We, all, we would all be safe and uh, we would all be thankful to Natalia, of course, for doing a great job. But now, just for fun, let's give her the controls of the Boeing and let her land manually from 500 feet altitude. Okay, I have told Natalia a few tips and tricks, uh, how to use the yoke, how to use the pedals and how to use the thrust levers. But I have only told the basic information and from now on, she is on her own. Good luck, Natalia. <laughs> You'll need it. <laughs> Because we didn't want to crash the simulator itself, it seems like a good landing, but well, it wasn't. You could have seen that the aircraft basically slammed into the ground, so... I was hoping. <laughs> but anyway, I would like, like to thank you for your effort and see you in the next videos. Ciao!